cashing in on World Cup fever. One of the world's largest sporting event, the 2014 World Cup in Brazil spells opportunities for both global brands and SMEs. In the run-up to the event, a marketing team from the International Federation of Association Football, or FIFA, visited Hong Kong in May, seeking partners for licensing, distribution and retail for an industry worth tens of millions of U.S. dollars. And with me is FIFA's head of brand and strategy, Ralph Strauss. Mr. Strauss, thanks for joining us. First of all, why has FIFA taken the licensing and distribution of World Cup merchandise in-house for the first time? In 2010, we worked with a master licensee model, exclusive on a global basis. This was very, uh, very good in some aspects. In some aspects, it was uh, quite challenging to, uh, to implement and to manage, especially because merchandising and licensing program around uh, the biggest sport event in the world is quite unique and has its own specific challenges. And therefore, we reviewed uh, internally and made a decision to, uh, to take the core of the licensing program in-house, which means that FIFA will establish those relationships directly and manage those relationships uh, directly, and by this also have the control over the relationships and what's being brought into the market. Because in the end it's very important to us that the merchandising program is of a specific quality level. The merchandising program helps to develop the brand of the FIFA World Cup in the different countries. So it's important to have a good brand experience for the end consumers, and therefore we have decided to do this in-house. So why Hong Kong? Because Hong Kong is very strong in licensing, it has a long history in licensing. We have for the different World Cups already worked with a number of Hong Kong based companies. It's also a bit of a port towards mainland China. It helps if you have the, uh, the contact in Hong Kong. And we have had very good experiences with Hong Kong based companies. Could very well imagine that also for 2014 there will be a number of Hong Kong based companies participating in the, uh, in the licensing program. And what kind of partners are you looking for? We are looking for um, mainly two types in the markets where we engage directly. We have identified a number of strategic focus markets. There we are looking for manufacturers in different product categories to develop merchandising products and with, to work with key retailers and provide those key retailers not, not only access to the products but also provide them with uh, some marketing rights so to become the official event store for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. At the same time, any other distribution channel or most of the other distribution channels will be able to source, uh, source merchandising products. The most important is the 100% commitment. So any partner we're working with, we expect from this partner to be fully engaged into the program and to be committed to deliver and to make the program a success. Of course the financials and the revenue is important, but more important is that we have the right products uh, in the right distribution channels, in the right level of quality. And therefore commitment from those, uh, from those partners to deliver this is, is extremely important. And what kind of potential have you seen in your meetings with Hong Kong companies? Very good potential. Um, we have also, uh, through the Hong Kong Trade Development Council, seen some companies who set up their business and their infrastructure a little bit different than what is common in the marketplace. So this is a good learning experience to us and to see to which extent we can use this for the implementation of the merchandising program. So the potential is definitely there. Now we have the first conversation, so we'll follow up on this, those conversations to see what can, uh, can materialize. Of course, we already have some relationships with Hong Kong companies, so we will follow up on uh, on those relationships definitely. What do you think are some of the strengths Hong Kong companies can bring in this partnership? Uh, the experience in, in, in the licensing industry, definitely. A lot of the sourcing on a global level for licensed products through Asia and has a very strong component here in, in Hong Kong, so definitely experience. The knowledge of the Asian market, so the access to the different, uh, different countries in, in Asia is definitely an advantage. What are the advantages of being a business partner with FIFA? I would say it's it's definitely you you will be working on um, or you'll be part of the uh, of the program around the biggest sport event of the world, especially when you're a football fan and you are engaged in this program. Uh, you can become quite enthusiastic about that. Secondly, because of this is a biggest sports event, uh, there is a, a high demand for merchandise around the FIFA World Cup. Also, there the volumes and relative to the uh, the revenues, it's very interesting uh, to become partner. This also gives us an opportunity to develop longer term relationships with the different suppliers or retailers which we then can use to build successes of the different World Cups and do better for the next time. If you do a World Cup together then you, you 
um, share the experience together. You know what works, what doesn't work, you know which retail channels works, what products work and which consumers. And if you can go through this learning curve together, you can build upon this every, every uh, FIFA World Cup. We have long-term partnerships with our sponsors and we see that also through these long-term partnerships the relationship develops and the programs become more sophisticated. Uh, we see a similar tendency in our branded licensing, so with EA Sports for example or with Panini, where we already have longer term uh, partnerships and also there we see as soon as you have done a couple of World Cups together the entire program uh, can grow because you don't have to go through the same learning experiences uh, all the time.